Hey guys, it's Multimonitor18 here, and today we were... Mumbles. Okay. Today we're going to be doing implementing NAT and allowing remote access. Um, it's the lab for school. This is loading. It's going to take like 10 years. Let's just start this because it's going to take forever as well. Um, okay, so we're going to learn about NAT. I still have no idea what it is. Um, looks like it's this. <laughs> NAT stands for Network Address Translation and allows many machines to, with private IP addresses to use a public IP address to connect to the internet. In this slide, you will implement NAT on a firewall. Nice. I hate Wireshark. There's too much data. Um, but we will be using it to understand how NAT works. Um, we're going to be using a remote nest stop on a network. Here is all this for um, info, if you need to know. That is going to take forever to load. So in this lab, you are implementing network address uh, NAT. <laughs> on a firewall running pfsense 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 uh, there are two machines on the internal network and a windows server 10 client on the router um i know what the whoops i know what this is right here um, I know oh, we're going to be learning about net. It looks like you just use IP addresses. Uh, okay, so it was born. When. And I know all about Wireshark, so do you guys. Um, ooh, remote access VPN. How do you use that? Virtual private network is used to allow remote access users to access the local resources in an organization. It uses end-to-end -end encryption between the VPN client and VPN server to keep the communication secret. A VPN service runs on a server to provide user access and authentication to an organization's network. A VPN client uses a secure connection to a VPN server, also known as a remote access server. VPNs use a special type of point-to-point -point protocol, such as PPTP or L2TP. This lab uses a special kind of point-to-point -point protocol called the point-to-point -point tunneling protocol, PPTP to secure the connection. L2TP is a protocol that's owned by Cisco and an upgraded version of, from PPTP. It is considered safer. See figure five for an overview of the steps to configure a VPN. Configure the server, configure the router, and configure the client to initiate VPN connections. That was a mouthful. So in this, uh, so this is the outline that we're going to be using. Um, in this lab, you will learn how to use NAT with the PFSense router plus firewall. You also viewed network traffic using Wireshark. Learn how to configure VPN on the server. Let's, uh, connect to the server. Yeah, rad, bro. Um, This is really annoying. I hope it loads soon. Let me get this up and running. Did it really just load? No, of course not. Why would it do that? Um, what the? This isn't normally on here. No idea what that was, but getting rid of it. So it says here that we open the Windows 10, there's IP address below. I wish this would load. Oh, awesome. So step eight, we have something that we need to do. OK, 
Okay, using the source. Or Um, okay, not step eight, step 11. Step 11, awesome, okay. So, ping 175.45.1.1. We enter that, and then we wait for all of that to pop in. Looks like we're entering the verify that, that you can ping an external Windows 8 machine on the WAN, WAN by typing the following command and then press enter. So that's connecting to the external computer, I think. Exit. That's not right. Stop. Exit. Um. Ah. Uh, now we open Wireshark. If you would please. What is this? There's no Ethernet zero. Are you insane? Uh, oh, genius. <laughs> so we open that. And apparently we just minimize it. Um, so we open this again. And then we type in ping 175.45.1.1. Six two hundred. And we enter that in. And now while that's loading up, we will go over here and load this up. So we can do this question real fast. So as it says, using the source, what does the negative T switch of the ping command do and how do you stop it? Ping, 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 ping. I know what ping is. Ping is awesome. And when you have good internet, you have good ping. I don't really know what ping is. Ping. Where does it talk about negative T ping? Oh, wait. Uh, pings a specific host until stopped. To stop negative control. Okay, so I'll just copy this and control shift V right there. And then we're all set, so I'll close that. What does the IP Wireshark filter command do? Well, I guess we'll see. Um, <coughs> Open back up Wireshark. Stop button. Um, okay. Where's the, st uh, the stop buttons here? Thank you. No idea what that was for, but okay. IP DST equals equals one seventy five forty five one seven six two hundred it's a nice IP address apply what that do oh my god what does it do um Which one is it? 175. Uh, these are all the things inside of it, maybe? So these are all the sources. This is the time, and this is the destination that it's going for. So all of these are externals, and this is where they're going to? 
that's what it looks like. Um, what does the IP, uh, this IP filters out every thing that includes the IP address 175 45 176 200 yes that's exactly what that does note that this source address of Windows 10 VM is a private address in the private address range it can only be used on the internet private side of the network and is not externally routable Um, this private source gets NAT translated by the PFSense firewall into an external publicly routable source address of 203.0.113.100, which VM does the destination belong to? That's step 11. Step, step 11, which one is it? Um, 192, they're all the same. They are all the same. But what, there's the info. Which VM? Oh, I mean the VMs are here. This certainly is not this one. 20? Oh, it is this one. Oh, okay, so it's going to the Windows 8.1 attack machine. Wait, that's not right. Is it this one? One, two, five, four. Or no. No, 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 no. This is the PF sense external. External what? What did it say? External address. Legendary. Take a screenshot. Um, if the, well, the traffic is filtered. Time to screenshot. Boom. And then we insert that screenshot to this device. Shotted shoddy. Um, I'm sorry. Step 12. True or false. NAT allows internal hosts on the LAN to communicate with external hosts on the WAN. Um, Yes, true. Right. Hey. So then we go to the troubleshooting part. Um, and we keep that on. And you still have the command prompt window open and you're still continuously pinging. You are not pinging relaunch. So it wants us to let 
play it? No. Okay, well, I have no clue what this means. So just leave it open. Oh no, it's talking about this. What's it want me to do? It wants me to enter the command ping this. Um. It won't let me copy or paste it, so. Seven five four five one seven six two hundred minus T That's awesome. So I'm actually just gonna ignore it. Where's the next thing? Uh twenty two. Oh my god, that's step nineteen. You gotta be kidding me. I'm just like over here working so hard. Um, so now we go to this, and then we go to this. I know. Uh, this is just a diagram, not instructions. Uh, it looks like it wants us to not open this. That's just where it's headed. Right, I get it. Click file. From the wire shark, and it wants us to uh, close it. Continue without saving. A little stupid, um, but I'm fine with it. And then we quit wire shark. Now we go. Oh, now we go and we open this. This. Dig. Um, what is this? Uh, double click the desktop CMD shortcut, view the diagram of machine on the WAN. Can only be can only reach other machines on the WAN. If the firewall redirects the user from the internal machine or WAN machine uses a VPN, can a user from a public internet or WAN reach a machine that is on the LAN? No. Type the following command and press enter to determine what ports are on the firewall. Okay, and map 203, not space, 0, 113, 100. Starting end map, end map, end map is weird. Doesn't need any screenshots or anything like that, no. Just step 19 warning. You want to continue pinging. It's the wrong thing. Okay, so one is up, one is. One is up. That's awesome. So we go to capture. We go to interfaces. Um, we press start. Ah, 
How long do we wait? I have no idea. I guess I'm stopping it then. I didn't stop it. Stop. Okay. Now we type in the... Um, uh-oh. Before you launch Wireshark... Make sure I have this open and I'm still pinging. Um, one seven five forty five one seven six two hundred. Uh, that's not good. Really not good. I think I'm still pinging it though. Unless I'm not, I mean, I'm not exactly sure. I'm gonna close it and try it again maybe. So it says one, seven, six, is that what it was? One, seven, six, or five, 45. Forty five. Um, one seven six two hundred. One seven six two hundred. Enter. It's dumb. What was on step nineteen? Uh, Oh, I'm supposed to ping one seven five four five one seven six two hundred, and now it's pinging it. Um. Uh, cancel. Faces step tw uh, well, 22 if you still aren't getting results from the wall. <sighs> What's it want me to do? Okay, IP DST. Um, actually, but without saving, I'm just gonna restart from like right here. Open back up. Open back up. Open back up. Open, open, open back up. opening, we got a capture, we got an interfaces, we got a start, and then it does its thingy, and then we wait, like, I don't even know how long. I'm just gonna wait till there's like 14 of them, because that's what this says, or 33, I guess, or not, 14. Stop. IP DST equal 175 45 176 200 apply that's awesome 
um, troubleshooting is if you still aren't getting any results from the Wireshark window in the attack VM, try to stop the ping on Windows 10. Wait about 10 seconds until you see some output generating in the window. Try and stop the ping. Okay, well, I don't see anything generating. There's nothing here. Maybe I did it wrong. IP.dst. equal equal dot one seven five forty five one seven six two hundred. Enter. Nothing. Okay, so now we have to reissue this, which is, what was it, port something? P ping? Ping 175, or 45, 45, 176, 200. Applying ping, 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 ping. I'll oh, get anything. Now we refresh. That's awesome. I love it when there's nothing happening. Let's see if I re. Enter that. You are annoying. IP DST one seven five forty five one seven six two hundred. Nothing. Still nothing. Um, so that's not working, so I'm just going to answer the question, I guess. What is the IP source? IP source is 175.451.76.200. Screenshot. Um, after step 23. Uh... Okay, command for four. That's what I got from that. Insert picture. This device screenshot. Open. Okay, configuring that. Make sure you are starting on Windows 10 VM. Okay, so yeah, I do do this. Um, we're running out of time. I'm not running out of time. I still have an hour. So, review. Can start using you. Uh oh. Quick file. Okay. It was just a simpler way to do it, I guess. Alrighty. Double click on the CMD shortcut. Again. Ping 175.45.176.200. Enter. 
exit. Um, now we go on the web browser, and we wait until step fifteen. Okay, so we're in the browser. Apparently, we're not in the browser. HTTP that thing slash slash one nine two one six eight one two five four. Click the next arrow and it crashed. It always crashes. I hate this. HTTP slash slash one nine two one six eight eight Aha, admin p f sense login I don't really want to save my password let's see so there's the WAN, there's the LAN, the WAN and WAN. Going good here in the, the firewall. I'm gonna rules. Might take up to 20 seconds to display the rules. So things have been applied. Firewall rules are now reloading in the background. Skip all the challenges. Go to LAN. What does it want me to do? It's gonna get rid of him? Okay. Why is this dumb? What is this? Anti-lockout rule? Why can't this one be deleted? Okay, site says okay. Apply changes. So it doesn't seem like it's a good idea to get rid of firewall protection things, but okay. Now we go in here, then we do a ping 75, 45, 176, 200. I memorized that by now. So, um, oh, should take a second. back real good. Okay, so we've lost four. Nice. What does this say? Were you successful? I was successful. Because I followed the instructions carefully. What are you doing? Why are you wrong? Um, yeah, I did it. 24? We're not at 24 yet. Exit. It's not right. Exit. It's not right. Exit. Okay. Click on edge again. Little.
What? Okay, click on the box. Okay, the protocol box, so any. Whoa, 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 whoa. Any, any, any. Apply the changes. Apply changes. Um, look at your new rule. Um, I feel like that's not what that means. Or... Maybe. Maybe it, I, I, I kind of feel like it might just be blank, but you know, it also says none, so I'm not true. Let's go with the trues. True. 25 modifications. Twenty-five modifications. Oh, okay. Okay then. So it doesn't want me to get rid of that. Examine the net port for table. What is that? <coughs> um. Wants me to do what? Um, examine the net. What are the two different ones? Not by net. The two bottom ones. Actually, whoops, what did I just do? No, go back. <laughs> oh, by any. So that one? And there isn't another one. Wait, no, that's not right. The net port. Oh, the net IP column. IP, IP. The one, the two ones that are different. What are you talking about? They're, the yeah, they're two different ones. Uncheck that. Stop it. One ends with a two, one ends with a thirty. I don't understand what the problem is here. Uh oh. One nine two, I think. One nine two. One six eight one thirty. One six eight one. 30 and 192, 168, 110. Um, external WAN addresses, private internal addresses are being transmitted by NAT. What? Um, I'm not 
actually sure what that means. I think I'm just going to continue on with the lab. So now we check the pingy wingy. So I continue the lab and just finish this. Until I get to step 11. Um, looks pretty good to me. Exit. Next. What do you want me to do? Click on the... No, 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 no. It didn't load well yet. Windows server. Alrighty then. Um, wait, what if I don't... Oh, click the desktop. Yeah, done this before. Admin. You don't like to type, do you? Administrator P A S S W zero R D Enter Preparing my desktop. Oh yeah, prepare it. Can I get a hoya? Hoya. Routing and remote access. Server local. What do you want me to do with this? Uh, right click it. Next. Oh, this is setting up the VPN. <laughs> um, finish it. Start service. Okay, so it's configured already. Minimize that, we go into the command prompt. And apparently we type DSA MC or MSC. Okay. This is a different thing than before. So we see active Aquaman. <laughs> Amazing. Administrator, we right click. And I missed step 13. Or 11. Actually, what was the command line to start the Active Directory Users and Computers interface? Step 11. DSA. We'll just copy and paste that into here. Nice. Step 20. Okay, so once we get to step 20. Nice. Okay, so we go to properties. We do... Dial in. We do allow access. No callback. Okay, then we go out, we go and get this beautiful thing that we call a computer, and then we go 
apparently to here. Probably gonna crash on me, so I don't even want to know why I'm bothering typing this out in six eight one two five four enter. Oh it didn't crash, that's awesome. Okay, administrator. PF sends. Would you like to save your password? Not particularly. Okay, now we go to VPN. What do we go to? FTT. I mean FPP. I mean not F anything. PP. Just click on the PP one. to select something so I can actually edit <laughs> genius so this is how you set up the external VPN Windows 8.1 attack machine that's just uh... oh no it wants me to click on it um no Reboot. <laughs> Stop. Okay. Where is my mess? Right click. We want the control panel. Network and internet. the network sharing center I am probably skipping everything step 20 what does it want me to do server and the IP is 192 no 168.110 168.1.10 oh there's so much for 20 after clicking the save button scroll up to the window and see what warning is displayed oh no I probably already closed that. Oh no, I didn't. Um, no longer considered secure. Um. Step 28 um, is what I'm on now. 
I don't remember what VM I was using. I was using this one. Uh, connect to a workplace. Was I using that one? I think I might have been. Uh, damn it. Or no, I was using this. Yeah. I have 40 minutes left. Awesome. Uh, use my internet connection to do a... Uh, I'll set up this connection later. The I want two of zero. I want three one hundred. So he's gonna show us things that we would change. VPN connection. We want my credentials. And now it's going. And there's people in this room, so I'm muting. Uh oh, I missed a step. Um, oh, that's not good. Twenty-eight. Okay, so it wants me to screenshot that. And step twenty-eight is what? Oh God. Twenty-eight. What IP address? Connect to a local. Now, I think All right. it's pretty much just endless. All right. Shift V. All right. I'm going to front, so. All right. Thank screenshot you. device. Final screenshot is here. Reflection question one. Oh my God, there's more stuff down here. List a few sh secure alternatives. What are some secure alternatives to PPTP? Okay, so it says that PPTP was originally designed by Microsoft for all devices, apparently. Um, it also says that these are the best alternatives, so control C, shift V, comma, command C. Shift 
should be, and it doesn't even say that I have to. Explain it, which is weird. And then I did this and control V. And that is it, guys. File, save as, or export, download a copy, download a copy. The internet is so bad it says it's going to take a minute for three megabytes. And that is that. Thank you for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. I'll see you another day.